Hi, our workshop will begin in a couple of minutes. Stay tuned. This is the Don't Delete Art Workshop on how to avoid being censored on Instagram and we'll begin in a couple of minutes. My God, there, there's so many people who've been deleted apparently because so because, because those are those are the people attending, right? It's it's everyone who's had a problem with this. <laughs> or want to know about the issues and also how to avoid being deleted. Yes. Okay, maybe we should start. <laughs> and Hi, everybody. Um, this is the welcome to the Don Delete Art Workshop on how to avoid being censored on Instagram. My name is Svetlana Mincheva, and I'm Director of Programs of the National Coalition Against Censorship. Don Delete Art is uh, several things. It's an online gallery, it is a campaign, and it is a resource center. It's a collaboration between several organizations concerned about artistic leader, leader. including, including no, 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 call it, it. Free Muse, Pan America, Ibex Art Collect Collectors, as well as uh, several volunteer curators, two of whom are here today, Savannah Spirit and Spencer Tunick, and we very much thank them. And Kenneth Grunholz, Gala Garrido Lozada, and another uh, larger group of revolving curators. And I'm going to share the website. Which is, it's not here. Okay, we'll not do that. <laughs> um, nope. Um, so, Don't Delete Art Campaign urges social media platforms to change their censorship practices so as to be more open to art. Our resource center, on the other hand, gives people the wherewithal to, oops, um, Savannah, can you stop doing this? Um, uh, our resource center offers guidance about how to understand and work around existing community guidelines when publishing art on social media platforms. This is our first live workshop, and it is specifically focused on what artists can do under the existing social media censorship regime so as to avoid being erroneously taken down. Don't Delete Art, of course, recognizes that there is a much broader problem here. Digital gatekeepers controlling the world's largest social media platforms have enormous power to determine what content can circulate and what should be pushed into the digital margins. And they're wielding that power in a chaotic manner. Not only is content removed because of overly restrictive and sometimes unclear community guidelines, but material vaguely defined as objectionable is made to disappear from search or explore functions as well as from hashtags. And users don't even know that it has disappeared. All this has a terrible effect on the work of all artists, but particularly on emerging artists, on artists dealing with issues of the body and sexuality and those living in repressive regimes. The effect has been even worse uh, during COVID-19 lockdowns as the vast majority of content moderation decisions have been shifted to algorithms. Work can be erroneously removed and whole accounts deleted with thousands of followers lost. With no possibility of appeal, an artist can feel fearful and powerless and opt to censor themselves. Our campaign at Don't Delete Art calls for systemic change. But in the short term, we want to help artists become more confident when posting to social media. And this is why we're here today. Artists Dina Brodsky, Savannah Spirit, and Spencer Tunick will share advice on how to tag, contextualize, or modify your artwork so it is safe from removal. You can put your questions in the question and answer box and we will pick questions. I'm sure there'll be many for our participants to respond to. So a little bit about our speakers. Spencer Tunick has been documenting the live nude figure in public space since 1990. He has organized over 100 temporary site-related installations that encompass dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of volunteers 
and his photographs are records of these events. He is one of the co-founding curators of Don Delete Art. And of course, given the subject matter, his photography has been taken down uh, from Instagram many times, but also it is on Instagram. So he has really great advice as to how to keep the nude body with certain portions covered um, on Instagram. Savannah Spirit is a photographer, curator, and activist based in Brooklyn. Her fine art news are often banned on social media, and she's also a co-founding curator of Don Delete Art. Dina Brodsky is our guest of honor tonight. She's an artist and a curator, as well as a social media influencer with over 415,000 followers on Instagram. And she is incredibly knowledgeable about how algorithms think. Uh, and also has great examples of uh, the sort of ridiculously uh, ridiculous censorship regime that Instagram has and work that has been taken down that absolutely should not have been taken down. So I pass the floor to our participants and please ask your questions again in the question and answer box. Thank you. Spencer. Hi, thank you. Hi, Spencer. Hi, Dina. Hi. Thank you so much. Um, um, it's been quite a uh, It's been a quite a uh, ride. With Don't Delete Art, I do I have this echo going? Um, and uh, I was brought on last May. We started, uh, Spencer and I and Svetlana, and we have um, taken a long time to really finally get our website uh, to a place where we feel very confident that we can give you all the information and we'll go through with, we'll go through that tonight. Um, and uh, we'll just jump right in. Uh, I'm going to just share my screen. Um, this is the gallery. If it will, uh, there you go. Uh, this is our gallery, and um, wait, hmm. Ben. Uh, we, we, I think we just see your uh, desktop. Uh. Oh, sorry. Um, here, I'll stop here. 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 <laughs> um, Okay, I'm 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 really hoping the internet didn't just uh, yeah you know didn't just censor the do not delete the, the delete art website um, just you know the oh I don't uh, think so um, okay, I'll put it up yeah thank you Spencer um is it up can you see it we can see it yeah okay there you go that's great and then uh, if you go to the resource center on our website, you'll see all the tips and uh, we're just gonna go through that right now. Okay, you wanna go through images first? You wanna just uh, get right to the, the gist of it? Yes. Okay. Um, the Resource Center was set up uh, to be sort of a different uh, agent of change for uh, people wanting to uh, or needing help on um, how to avoid censorship. Um, there are many sites on people getting deleted and images of people getting deleted, but there's, there was really never uh, an area where people could help not get deleted by tactile information on how to uh, censor genitals. Um, and so, breath. Exactly. Um, uh, and so this is uh, the first top left image is by Carolata Guerrero. And as you can see, uh, the women are pixelated, their nipples and their genital area. And although from a distance, it doesn't look pixelated. Um, but this image is perfectly okay for Instagram, and it should be okay for Instagram. This includes the photograph of the book to the right, as well as the close-up of the torso, the bottom torso of a woman, uh, 
the pubic area, this is also okay. So if you squint your eyes, it looks like it's not pixelated at all. I was very, very surprised to find this to be uh, okay, because in my earliest censorship, uh, I my site was threatened to be taken down on Facebook because uh, my pixels were too small, very much like Carlotta's. Instagram has changed its policy now, where as long as everything is pixelated, regardless of the size of the pixelation or the blur, if there's no pubic hair showing, then it's okay. This is uh, what I found out personally from the, one of the head, heads of censorship from Instagram, um, which should be a relief to people. If you're pixelating, if you're watching this, and thank you for coming to this uh, webinar. If you're watching this and you're pixelating the just the nipple area of a woman's breast, but leaving the areola un unpixelated, then that is not that is, that can be taken down. Um, Savannah, her site was taken down five times, and yeah. for almost two years, I've been telling her why it's being taken down, That's and true. she's like, <laughs> "But I'm pixelating, but I'm blurring." I'm saying, "But you're you're leaving the Facebook and Instagram consider that." The areola, unfortunately, of course, the areola on a woman, part of the entire nipple. So artists, friends, people who want to post nipples out there, you have to, the nipple is actually the entire areola area as well. Sorry, it's kind of clinical. Um, and, the, and obviously the nipple should be free and, and it's uh, actually tragic that it's not. But uh, these are th this is a, an answer to you. So uh, you see a lot of people just putting a little squiggle as a censorship, uh, and you can see through the uh, the lines to see the areola or even the nipple, and that's a no go for Instagram. Um, and I, I'd also like to add that uh, mm -hmm. I was using. Uh, there's different apps that you can use, and we have listed on the website. And I found that I use the sensor app. And when I would use the pixels, for some reason, it still deleted me. But when I used the blur tool on there and I covered everything, uh, that actually, and I'll have examples, just yesterday, uh, my last post was deleted. And I appealed. And then, and I'll show you how to do that if you don't know how. And then about 10 minutes, 15 minutes later, they came back with the decision Instagram did and said, we, we see that you did not uh, break the community guidelines. So we put, reposted it back for you. So I found that when I covered everything with even the blur tool, that really helped me, uh, save me from getting uh, completely deleted. Let's so. go to one more, let's go to the two more pictures and then we'll talk about other things. Uh, so there's my image on the left of a young man in the 90s standing in front of a Donald Trump banner or, or a billboard at Atlantic City. And on Instagram, female and male butts, <laughs> buttocks at a distance is okay. Um, and that's great. You know, on Instagram now, everyone and their mother is getting naked. It's a naked world on Instagram because of this rule. Um, the uh, close-up of um, a behind, uh, as close as uh, Savannah is has in the photograph of herself, is uh, not allowed. Correct, Savannah. Correct. And so, how close is too close? Well, obviously, this is an artwork, and it should be take. It should not be taken down. But that's too close for inter in Instagram and Facebook, even with the shadows. Um, so these are all probably things you all know, or maybe you don't know a few things and maybe we've helped you with uh, some uh, nipple censorship uh, 
um, tactile uh, ta uh, ideas. Um, but, you know, obvi and obviously the greater issue is uh, the, um, what this does to people, what it does to artists, what it does to women, how it uh, demeans women. Uh, um, the censorship of the um, the nipple as uh, and the freedom of the man to be nipple and how it does cause violence and it does cause cause overt uh, subliminal uh, objectifying of, of women, which in turn eventually does hurt people. But getting back to the um, to uh, censorship, I, I'm going to send this over to start another conversation. I hope with um, with others with Svetlana, maybe she could throw out some uh, some ideas about maybe shadow banning, and and then we'll get to Dina. And once you hit Dina, you will. It, it's sort of like Einstein meeting uh, Alice Neal with a, a little bit of uh, sure. bird uh, water <laughs> in there. Um, uh, Spencer. We have uh, some questions here. Uh, I think relevant to what you said about Great. isolating, a question from Alicia Prasad. Um, she, I, she's asking, will this work with all Instagram users, including smaller accounts? I think she means the, the pixelations. Small accounts sometimes post images such as this, but have it get taken down and they're silenced because they have a small following, which right. I, I've heard. And that's one of the meetings, that's one of the reasons that I thought of the idea to have a meeting with Instagram and Facebook to pressure them to be more transparent. Um, and then that meeting was facilitated by Svetlana and Joanna Lee helped out as well. Um, we think that everyone, no matter if you're a celebrity or if you're not, if you only have a hundred followers or a thousand, you have the right to censor properly and not be taken down. With uh, almost a billion followers <laughs> on Instagram, how is everyone, how is the small voice going to be heard? Well, that's why we pressured Instagram to be more transparent and have a more uh, easily accessible um, appeals process. Um, which is still not too accessible. And so um, Savannah uh, will go through some of the steps right now, right, Savannah, to yeah. how you can uh, find, uh, how, you, how you know you're being, well, Dina's gonna tell you, let you know how you know you're being suppressed or shadow banned, but Savannah right now, and then we'll get to Dina in a, in a few seconds, but uh, a few minutes, but Savannah will kind of, walk you through the steps, Savannah, that you were showing us before with- um, I think you just have to stop share screen. With, uh, Savannah, with uh, your uh, showing of uh, how you can appeal, which seems obvious, but some of you people might not know. And hopefully we can, you have to go to the share one, screen. One quick one before, before you. Spencer, before we leave you, one uh, free, uh, there was a question, and as the only male in the group, you should answer it. Um, do you have an example of acceptable censoring of male genitalia? Okay, this is very difficult. True. Uh, the gay community in uh, on Instagram is is censored incredibly harshly, especially with art photography, and it's repressive as well as well as the LGBTQ community, and. We have an artist, um, Kenneth, uh, one second, I, I'm just uh, nervous here. So uh, Kenneth Gruenholtz that, that hopefully can do another uh, webinar uh, with uh, issues surrounding the, the, the gay community and men. Uh, but um, yes, uh, to when, uh, a male penis is censored, and it and you censor it. Uh, it's just so depressing that it's not a triangle or a circle. It's sort of a uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, you know, uh, uh, elongated shape that, when not censored correct, 
correctly for Instagram standards, it becomes, the shape becomes very alarming for the world, um, the world in general. Um, uh, it becomes, uh, you. how do you know if a, if a penis is turgid or not turgid, which means erect? How do you know if it's eroticized? Um, the, uh, a normal photograph of a man that's, that's it can be also over, overly uh, censored as just as a woman can be for her genital area. I hope I answered that question. And I have a question to all of you. Uh, I'm just trying to be responsive to the audience. Uh, do you know if there's a digital platform dedicated only to uh, nude artworks? Uh, maybe Dina knows about that. No, no, I don't. I'm okay. not sure actually. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, so, but maybe, that would be something that someone should create. <laughs> no, yeah, there's not, I don't think there's an only nude, only nude social media platform. And if it was that, it probably, you would need a workaround to get to it on iPhone and uh, other phones, social, you know, tablets apps but um but i think savannah do you know how do you see that little green thing that says share screen and then yeah. after can you, see, after can you see that can you see my screen no after share screen you, you want to um what you want to do is you uh want to uh click on safari instead of uh rebecca are you still there yeah um you can select um which application that you want to show. So if you exit the share screen and then try again, it should give you the option of what to select. Um, not give me the option. Let's see. Oh, new share. There we go. Well, it's back to that problem we were having earlier. So uh, did you click on share screen, uh, share screen on the bottom, that green arrow? I Savannah, did. I can share the Dropbox photos if that's what you're looking for. That would be great. Thank you, because sure. I'm having the issue that I had before. Does that work? Yes, but uh, the, if you go to the Appeals 1 and Appeals 2 image. Maybe number two JPEG or? Oh, it's okay. not, yeah, Appeals 1. So. Uh, just yesterday, I had my last post deleted. So I took some screenshots so I could show everyone. Actually, I hate that it happened, but I'm glad it happened. So I can show you exactly. If you don't know that you can appeal their, their uh, taking your, your post down, if you, it, it's a very quick screen, but if you, when you log into Instagram, it will show you this screen. So down below on the right-hand corner, you can see, let us know, and you click on that. And then if you go, um, it will say, yes, we'll review. And then luckily, because I did censor everything, my areola and my nipple, um, it did say we reviewed it and thank you, and they reposted it. So uh, that actually was uh, them at work doing the, what they should be doing. <laughs> and uh, so if you can go to the rest of the slides. So if you don't know about that, that's a perfect um, uh, example of going uh, to appeal their decision. Right, so that's, then, an al that's a, that's a uh, I'm sorry for interrupting. That's an yeah. algorithm, a machine, a computer taking down the first image Right. And it being reviewed by a human who accepted right. it. Um, now, during the pandemic, there was less people moderating and reviewing the images. So more images may, like last year, may have been taken down than normal, which was, which was a sad thing. But, you know, you know why. Yeah. So uh, now if you have had quite a few violations, and you don't know how many because they don't tell you, Instagram doesn't tell you how many are too many. So if you wanna keep track of how many you've had, you go up to where I uh, circled the red under settings. And then if you can go to the next slide and then 
click on settings, and then down below click help. And that will get you to support requests. And then you'll see uh, if you reported anybody or if you'll, you'll see your violations. And if you click on, if you can go to the next screen for me, um, this, this will list, you'll see all of your violations listed. So you'll be able to keep track. And if you go to the next slide, it will list all of them. And you'll be able to see the date if you can see each one. And now this is since, since September because I had my last profile deleted September 9th, I think of last year. So this is from when I started a new profile to now. And it says that I have quite a few violations, but about three of them or four of them were actually put back up because I censored properly. So unfortunately, we have to go through this with you, but uh, if you keep going to the next one, and this, this uh, you don't really need to pay attention to this, but in case you wanna know that, if you click on that series of numbers and letters, it will show you that the oversight board even though it expired, uh, the oversight board has, is doing their job. That's what they're saying there, <laughs> um, that their decisions are, um, they're basically telling you that uh, your, your picture isn't important enough because they have bigger fish to fry. Unfortunately, we feel differently. We feel that our work is just as important as their bigger issues. But this will show you that that's what they're doing. Uh, and then I believe that's it. Can I mention something real quick about uh, what about all this this process? So what what Savannah has showed you is a process that um, one uh, one we don't know how many violations a person gets until their site is threatened to be deleted and deleted, and that's a that's something we should know because if we're if someone is an artist and they're creating work that's on the edge and they uh, have nine violations and it's 10, then your site's taking down, that artist is gonna be more careful at censoring their own work. Or maybe the limit is 25. And if the artist has 20 images that have been taken down, they should know that five more uh, violations are, are, and so that's that's incredibly maddening to think that you're trying to censor self censor properly. You're not quite doing it correctly, and there's that threat of years, years of hard work, time, uh, which equals money, uh, where you've spent so long, maybe ten years or five years, um, connecting and creating friends and relationships and followers. And then just in an instance, uh, someone can take it down without you knowing why, because of how many violations. So that is sort of like throwing someone's address book or computer out the window. Uh, it's, it's, it's so scary to think because, uh, because that's sort of like Big Brother, you know, controlling uh, your uh, livelihood. Um, you know, because, Facebook has been promising to install a health meter on your account, which they have done on Facebook. Um, they've been promising to install something on Instagram that would tell you if you have violations, how far you are from um, from being deleted. So uh, we're we're pushing on that, but they keep saying they're going to do it because that's uh, I think that's a point many artists have uh, raised. Yeah, how, how many is too many? I mean, we we don't know. The only thing we can go by is uh, seeing the list of violations. But yeah, that's exactly right. We don't know, but it would be great to know. <laughs> and then also, how like let's say you have a violation, how long does it take till that violation goes away and it sets itself to a fresh start and that would like is it six months is it three months is it a year you know and, and it's two to three weeks for anyone who's worried about worried about this and it kind of depends on how many times you pissed off the algorithm right so so basically if, if, if you you know it, it like if it's a first violation 
uh, you know, if you've been flagged once or, you know, maybe just once this month or two months, um, then, um, the, you know, the reach of that post goes down, but your next one should be okay. But if you keep doing it, then it lasts longer. And I, you know, like, 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 yeah, about two to three weeks. But um, on the other hand, it's not six months. In three weeks, your account will be fine again. <laughs> Okay, so now let's get into the back end and what you've noticed uh, about uh, um, Dina about um, silencing and also reach, um, and maybe we can get in it with you right now. You know, uh, let people know a little bit about yourself real quickly and uh, how you're invested in this as you uh, help with people's um, accounts. Uh, you run other people's Instagram accounts. Uh, oh, thank you for kind of, um, thank you for being here, everyone. And so unlike probably every single other person who's, who's here, um, I, um, you know, I'm a landscape painter. Um, you know, I do landscapes and birds. My stuff never gets deleted and it very, very rarely gets shadow banned. Um, it's the reason I started kind of paying attention to this is because I was, um, the, um, and I actually reached out to Spencer myself um, after about a month of COVID because I'd been thinking about it um, for, for almost a year. And I've been paying attention to the ways the algorithm has been changing. And um, I don't know, I run a bunch of different Instagram accounts, both for art schools and galleries, and it's been changing the same, you know, the same way for all of them. Um, so, um, and, and I reached out to Spencer because it seemed like no one I was trying to reach out to at Instagram really cared all that much, like, like they admitted it was happening, uh, but, but they basically, um, as Savannah said, they had bigger fish to fry. Um, so um, a few years, so I'm, I'm kind of here to talk about the, the shadow ban. Uh, which, um, and for, you know, maybe a few of those like, you know, like, like here, like me, who've never, you know, who've never had anything deleted. Um, basically, there's bad news for all of us, right? And which is that all of this, the shadow ban um, kind of Instagram censorship, it doesn't just affect, you know, like, like people like Spencer and Savannah who specialize in, in you know, making, making nude art, right? It affects all of us because, um, it's algorithm, it's, it's an artificial intelligence. And up until I'd say about two years ago, um, the rules were reasonably clear, right? You posted a, um, you know, you posted something with nipples that, you know, may, maybe weren't blurred out properly, right? And, and it got taken down. And, um, and, and back then I was like, yeah, this doesn't really affect me. You know, I, 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 I never post anything with nipples. And if I did, I'd blur, blur them out, right? Um, but then I, um, um, at some point it started changing and Instagram, you can actually see how it started changing because Instagram put a teeny tiny little post strip about it in a corner of their website on their desktop that never, no one ever actually looks at, uh, which is why half of you have never heard of this. And um, what it's called is, so they deny that the shadow ban exists, right? According to Instagram, there's no, there's no shadow ban. What a shadow ban is, is, um, is what it says in those tiny, tiny letters in a small corner of Instagram, which is, um, Instagram has the right to suppress any image that borderline violates community guidelines. And if all of you guys are listening to this and they're like, what, you know, what's borderline violation? Like, it sounds really vague. It's because it is, right? Um, and they, I think it's vague on purpose because what they're saying is we have the right to suppress the reach of anything we borderline don't like, right? The, um, it doesn't have to violate anything. There's no more clear rules. And instead of, and, and this is, I guess, where I started getting, you know, kind of invested in this, because instead of things getting taken down, which, you know, which is heartbreaking for, you know, like, like Spencer, for someone like you, your livelihood is, is, is this, literally. Um, but um, at least that was straightforward. Right, you blur things out, like you know, you you don't get get deleted. The shadow ban, I feel like, is much more insidious, and all it is is suppression of organic reach for content that they don't like. And some of that content could be, you know, vaguely inappropriate in every possible way. Like they don't like, well, right wing politics, and you know, who knows? A lot of people might not like right wing politics, but Instagram uh, can suppress the reach of you know certain certain keywords that it picks up on, right? Um, you know, um, anything that um, politics it doesn't like, imagery it doesn't like, etc. Um, and what's worse is there's no, you know, like like if you go far enough, like Savannah did, there's like the oversight board, which you know maybe has a human being that deals with all of the stuff every once in a while. Uh, but most of the time, it's not getting dealt with by a human being. It's getting dealt with by an artificial intelligence that is constantly evolving and basically 
learning to quote unquote recognize inappropriate content better, right? Um, and what I mean by that is that a few years ago, the parameters to AI was given initially is suppress the reach of anything that resembles porn. Right, um, and so porn, you know, what does porn have? Porn have nipples, so let's suppress the reach of, you know, like, like, or, you know, in extreme cases, delete, but definitely suppress the reach of anything that has nipples. But then it's teaching itself how to recognize porn better. So it's, you know, um, it's like, well, what, what else does porn have? Porn has butts and penises, so let's suppress the reach of that too. All right, you know, like, like maybe fair. I, I actually think nothing should be suppressed because I, I, I don't think we have free speech. Like, 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 I don't think free speech is to say pleasant things. I think free speech is to have, you know, like, like the whole point of it is to have the right to maybe offend someone, you know, that, um, right. So, um, but, but then it's, so in any case, um, so I think none of this should be censored, right, at all. Like, like, I think the fact that we're even talking, you know, we're spending all this time tonight try, talking about how to correctly blur out the, the, the nipple, right, is ridiculous because none of this should be censored. And you guys probably all agree with me, which is why you're, you're here. But that being said, so the AI is, a, the AI is you know, is teaching itself to recognize porn. So porn has butts and nipples and, you know, and penises, but it also has things like belly buttons and kneecaps and that space in the back of like a woman's neck and maybe cleavage, right? Um, and so as, as the AI evolves, and this is why it's really, it's affecting all of us, right? Uh, it's affecting what we see and what we can show and how we can make a living and, you know, and, and the kind of art that we can take in, right? The, um, so, um, the, um, so, so basically I, I made a Dropbox for this because I feel like, you know, I, I feel like it's better to show people something, you know, something like this rather than, you know, the, uh, rather than tell them. So I'm gonna share this with you guys. And these are all posts that have been shadow bans. So small accounts, someone actually asked a question about this. Small accounts actually should have less of a problem with this than large accounts. As a larger an account is, the more easily gets flagged. So there's actually things that you can get away with when your account is under 10K that you, you know, stop being, you know, like, like, like you know, like once your account gets bigger, it, it actually gets flagged more easily. Although possibly that's actually happening because as it, you know, if your account is, you know, is getting bigger than you've been flagged before. So you're kind of accumulating these violations. So um, I, this Dropbox folder is of imageries that I've seen shadow banned on various accounts that I've run. And by shadow banned, I don't mean taken down. I just mean, and, and, and this is kind of, to me, one of the worst parts about it is they don't tell you when you've been shadow banned. Uh, you, know that, you know that it's happened to you because um, if you look at the insights for a post, uh, it stops showing it to people who are not following your account already. So it's still showing it to your followers, right? Uh, but it's no longer show it, it's no longer ending up on the explore page. It's not no longer showing up in the hashtag search. So basically people can't find you. And if you keep doing this, then you get really heavily flagged and then people actually start having a hard time, you know, even finding your name. And that, that, that might've happened to some of you guys too. So let me just um, share the screen. And um, okay. Well, do you see um, the, um, is this, um, is this is a shadow band Clementine? The, um, and um, let me actually just start with some, you know, maybe something less ridiculous and go, you know, progressively go on to, to, to more ridiculous imagery. So this is by Christian Fagerland. I think I saw his name kind of uh, pop, pop up here. So Christian, uh, hi, Christian's an amazing painter, but you see this, uh, this post here with the back of, um, you know, um, you know, just, just the back, back of a woman, woman's neck. So that is apparently too much for kind of, you know, um, for, for, for Instagram, because once again, it keeps teaching itself how to recognize pornography. And so what does porn have? Well, porn has shoulder blades sometimes. Um, this, this is um, um, Mich Michelle Dahl. She's also a totally incredible painter. Uh, but this hand is setting off it's basically setting off the AI because it's too much, you know, it's too much flesh, right? The, um, the, this one by Lee Chapin. And you see how she, she's actually covering, um, so she's covering the nipple. A, this woman's had a mastectomy, so she doesn't even have this nipple. And she's covering this one. And it's obviously a painting because, you know, she's making a funny face in the background. And this painting is apparently also, you know, it, it doesn't, uh, it's not going to get taken down, but it's not going to get shown to anyone who's not following the account already. Um, um, this is a Daniel Maidman painting of a Savannah spirit, uh, you know, from a Savannah spirit reference, right? 
And Daniel Maidman, he's wonderful, but his work gets shadow banned all the time. And I think it was a conversation with him that actually got me thinking about all this uh, because I remember talking to him and I was like, well, it's not getting taken down. So it's probably not shadow banned. But then I started kind of looking around and looking at both you know, his, his images when I would put them up on some of the accounts I've run and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, he actually is getting shadow banned which is why his account is growing so, so slowly. Yeah. Um, see this painting of um, hollow bread that uh, this is apparently also too much. Um, so I think it's, I was actually looking for a specific shadow band hollow bread, but this artist was in a class, uh, you know, I started, I, I was also to teach classes basically, um, you know, classes for artists to be, you know, kind of like breaking down the Instagram algorithm, which is actually why I started, you know, like, like why I know so many of these, both, both artists and the images that get picked up. And this artist, he's, you know, he's wonderful, but he kept writing me thinking that he's shadow banned. And, and I kept saying that he's not because he only paints hollow bread. He's not, unlike Daniel Maidman, he's not even painting nudes. Right. But then I, uh, back then I had a friend who worked at Instagram. So I sent it to him and I was like, you know, I think this kid is being really paranoid, but could you just, you know, run it, run it by your team and, you know, like, like, so I can calm him down. And he was like, well, you know what? He's right. Uh, his hollow bread actually is getting shadow banned because it's getting picked up as intertwined flesh. Right. Because once again, there's no human being, be like if you appeal, you at least get to a human some part of the time but when you post you're just dealing like the gatekeeper you're dealing with is an ai and the ai is you know it's very smart in some ways but it's also very stupid in some ways like it can't tell the difference between the holla and you know people having sex actually uh, um like like you know how even this uh, um yes yeah, so is this um uh this citrus fruit this is a you know risque citrus fruit that got shadow banned for i'm assuming resembling either a butt a boob or you know you know, just, just, just flesh in general. Uh, these lemons also too much. Um, and, and I, I'm assuming they're getting picked up as either breasts or nipples. This is also coming from one of the accounts I run for, um, Grand Central Atelier, which is, you know, so heavily flagged that basically it's large and heavily flagged. So anything sets it off. I'm actually, you know, this, this image might be, you know, like, like, like might be fine on a different kind of smaller account. Um, um, you see this um, this image. Is, is anyone uh, does, does anyone find this particularly erotic? Because you know, most of us wouldn't, right? But um, the space in the back of the neck, uh, it's completely. It's not even. It's not even drawn in. Like like never mind that there's nothing there. But you know, there's there's literally there's no content there, and because it's you know. It's, it's just getting picked up as nude flesh and that post isn't getting, you know, so never mind something like this, an academic drawing, right? The, which someone did in probably 60 hours of standing in front of a model. And, you know, obviously, you know, this isn't erotic, it's beautiful academic art. So a lot of the people that are getting affected by this, some of them are like Spencer and Savannah, they're photographers utilizing the nudes. Burlesque dancers get heavily affected. Um, sex industry workers actually get heavily affected and uh, classically trained academic artists just, just get completely battered by this and they tend never to know what's going on because they're not worried about this because, you know, like, like um, because, because why would they? They're just, you know, this is the way they train. Yes, yeah, something like this would, would absolutely not, not pass muster. Um, and yeah, that's, um, but I mean, I, I, I could go on and on. Um, the, um, uh, what was kind of, you know, the images of people kissing, you know, even if they're fully clothed, they're apparently too erotic. Um, and all of this, what all of this has in common, it's obviously art. Like if you run this by a person, uh, I don't know how many of you guys know Michelangelo's Libyan, Libyan Sybil uh, drawing, but that also gets, you know, that, that, that got shadow banned, right? Uh, um, and I don't think the human being, so like, I don't think a single human that works at Instagram would want this to happen, would would want to be the kind of institution where the Libyan Sybil gets shadow banned or any of the, or any of this art for that matter, right? But, um, the, um, that being said, I'm not sure how in control they, you know, like, so they, they kind of gave the AI its parameters and now it's doing its own thing. And I have a feeling that part of the problem is that to change this, you know, like, like, like I think Svetlana was saying that you want systemic change, to systemically change this would require dealing with the AI in a way that they 
neither either don't have the kind of bandwidth to do or just simply don't care about it, which is you know i mean it's instagram they have billions of dollars right uh, so i'm assuming that they they, they really you know they really don't care i've talked to several people there about this and i've kind of brought this up in the same way that i'm talking about it here and they're like oh yeah yeah that you know the libyan civil yes that would get shadow banned and i was like yes but don't you want to do something about it right uh, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's a, um that um it seems that um, the one person that didn't want to do something about it actually ended up quitting um, his job at Instagram because you know he didn't like where the company was headed, um, and the other people there just don't that I talk to don't seem to think that this is all all that much of a problem, uh, because the people that are getting affected by this are. Um, I, I don't know, maybe maybe artists are quiet. Maybe they think that we can't make a big enough deal, which because they've obviously never met Spencer, who obviously can. All right. So for all of uh, okay, that was really demoralizing, right? Uh, that, that, that was just really depressing. Even looking through that do Dropbox, um, the, um, but that being said, there is for the moment, if you want this, if, if you're an artist who let's say spends hundreds of hours, you know, drawing a beautiful nude, there is a way to kind of, is it, currently there's a loophole. Um, I feel like the loophole might get closed at some point, but right now, if you put it up either as a reel, and reels are currently getting prioritized by the algorithm anyway, uh, either as a reel or as a video without a uh, still image attached, uh, it's, it's actually just going to slide by. And I, I can, uh, let me do another screen share and just give you a few examples of this. Uh, um, because it, it, it actually took me a while to figure this out for um, specifically for, um, well, the, the, the Grand Central Atelier um, the, um, account because I was trying to figure out kind of how to get these posts, you know, how to get these artists who are wonderful and I'm, I'm actually kind of, you know, whose success I'm kind of invested in uh, to get seen because for a while they, they weren't and even the hashtag for Grand Central Atelier, Atelier was banned. But so apparently um, if you... The same image that would get flagged as a still image, like like this um, beautiful nude, nude man, if you post it as a reel without a still image attached, it's going to slide by. And the difference in engagement is gigantic, right? So this guy, um, let me just try to figure out how to show people how many. Um, so so if I, can I just, can I interrupt you? And I'm so sorry for that. Um, okay. so, so if I have a still image, like an eight by 10 print, and I shoot a video of it, it might slide by as opposed to me posting that photograph from a scanned image. Um, yes, yes, uh, um, so at, at, least, at least for now. Good. So, um, so, and once again, I don't know how long this is gonna last, um, but that little reel that I, I, I just showed you had something like you know, 70,000 likes, which means that it went into the Explore page and stayed there for a long time. And that it only sings that, be, um, see, um, this, this little video ended up being okay too. And look, it's got, you know, it's got a nude, it's got all the things that usually set it off, but because it's a video, it seems like it's just not, you know, like, like this particular, um, like it seems like it's just kind of sliding, sliding by, by the sensors. So Can I interrupt for a second? I'm sorry. I actually did do a reel and I posted it as a story and I was working in the dark room. So they were obviously eight by 10 or 11 by 14 prints. And that was fine. So that actually did work. And Wait, I did that was, the story. Was that in 1980? What, what are you talking about? You're printing in a dark room? What's that? What's a dark room? <laughs> well, this is just this past winter, like in okay. February. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that I actually, um, and so you, so yeah, I did do that, Dina, and that seemed to work great without um, fault. Um, yeah, yeah. So reels look. There's a penis in this one, and male nipples. Shocking, and and it's uh, um and it's doing just fine. So it's not going to get taken down. Um, but it's also going to end up in the explore page as well. And it's going to get shown, shown in the hashtags and it's kind of just going to do what, what posts are supposed to do. So I, I think part of, part of the thing about all this is that Instagram, like the official policy, the official kind of, I guess, philosophy behind Instagram is that, um, the ability to get seen is a privilege, not a, like we think it should be a right. Instagram thinks it's a privilege. Uh, posting things is a real, it also work if it's a video. 
uh, without a still image there. So if you put like a, if you put up a multiple, you know, like a multi-image post and one of them is a video and there's a nude in any of it, including the video, then it's going to get shadow banned. But if you right. just put up the video, it's going to, um, it's not going to get picked up. Right. Uh, you, you mentioned, uh, let me just clarify that because you, you misspoke there for a second. If you put up the, in the video, if you then have a still image, because you said video, if, in the video, if you then have in the edit a still image, that's not good. That's going to get shadow banned. But oh, if it, uh, uh, no, Spencer, if it, basically, if there's a still image in the post, right? Like you can do a multiple image post, and you know you can include a video and a few still images, or a few videos, a few still oh, images. Okay. Um, if um. Um, if, if, if any, like basically if there's just still image, it seems to anchor it. I'm not, I, I don't know. I, I don't know this was the way this works. I probably spend a little bit too much time talking to the Instagram algorithm anyway, trying to figure out, you know, right. what, what, what kind of, you know, what kind of food the algorithm dragon wants. But yeah. um, you're talking about if you do a multi-image post and yeah. one of those images, it's mostly video, but one of those images is still, you're going to get flagged. Yes, but if it's just a video, um, yeah, yeah, you can have like a still image in the video, but okay. uh, as long as it's just a video, there, right? Okay. That's that's great for clarification. Can I know you're going to move on to other things? I just want to ask one more question because I think a lot of people want to know, and you did explain it, but I was wondering if you could slow down a little bit and explain it how they can check if an image if their image is being repressed and shadow banned in insights. So uh, under an image there, it says, maybe you could show on your phone or something. I actually, um, I, I feel like the phone is, at, all right. Okay. Um, uh, I, I will if anyone really can't figure it out, but basically if you guys have like a business or a creator account, it, it gives you insights, right? If you go to insights for each post and scroll down a little bit, there'll be this little number that says percentage of people who saw the post that weren't following you, your account. And if that if that number is 1% or less, you've been shadow banned. Um, then, like, so for a post that made the explore page, that number can be as high as 90%. Right, because a ton of people who, you know, like the um, um, who like, like a ton of people got shown that image who weren't following you already, and that's how you get new followers. Right, you get new followers from the explore page, uh, or from the hashtags, or in Spencer. Um, I mean, those are, okay. Uh, 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 so, so uh, the good news for everyone, including possibly Spencer, actually, those two things, even if Instagram is suppressing your reach, it's not the only way people find you. So, Spencer, your work which probably gets, still gets, like it gets shadow banned all the time. It doesn't get taken down all the time, but it gets shadow banned all the time. Like like prob probably every time you post something up, unless Instagram is scared of you and they're giving you an ex you know, kind of an exception. Uh, um, but, um, but, uh, but, but basically um, it's not the only way for an account to grow. And um, once your, um, so your account can grow by word of mouth where people are like, oh, that's really cool. And they're sharing those images and they're recommending it to each other. And the good news about nudity is, is honestly, people really like to look at, you know, uh, look at naked people. And so they tend to share that stuff much more frequently than they, you know, um, they do everything else. So basically do not despair. Even if you're getting shadow banned all the time, your account will still grow. But let's say in Spencer's case, or in the case of Daniel Maidman, which has a, who has a very big account, which uh, would be both of your accounts would be growing much faster if it wasn't for this. But you know they're still growing. Like they're still growing. People are still finding you. I'm not concerned really right now at the number I'm at. Even though I'm not at a celebrity number, I'm just at a well-known artist number. Uh, I'm not concerned with getting more followers. You know, I'm kind of finished with Instagram as far as thinking about, you know, am I going to get 200,000 followers or what? That's what I'm concerned about is the, the person who at this point, and I know you are too, and everyone is, is the person with 2000 followers or a hundred followers, you know, the people who don't have a voice and the also, and so um, just any advice for, you know, hard, just really solid advice you have for people that have around that number. Um, okay, so for one thing, um, if you feel like you're shadow banned, just sort of keep, uh, you know, like, like, um, basically, it's going to go away in its own in about, you know, three weeks max, right? So just a uh, you could just, if you want, you could just stay off Instagram for three weeks. You can check if you're shadow banned, right? So look at that number. 
um, look at it, look at how many people are, um, you know, saw, saw each post. Look at that, look at that number for like 10 of your posts. So that's right there. So here's a post that's up and it's this, uh, you click on this, which is, oh, excuse me, it's this over here. And that says view insights, correct? Yep. So I'm going to click on that. And then you'll see the information. Unfortunately, mine says messaging related insights such as shares and replies may be lower than expected due to privacy rules in some regions. Uh, it says that for everyone, don't worry about okay, it. Okay, so then I go learn more, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just scroll down a little bit. Oh, okay, okay, let me just scroll down. Okay, all right, I see that, okay. And then we get to, uh, so you scroll down from that and what do I look at uh, at this point? Oh, accounts reached 2% weren't following Spencer Tunick. What does that mean? Um, is that, so, so is that um, so chances are that post has been shadow banned? <laughs> the, the, okay, yeah. Um, so, um, because 2% is very, very low, right? Right. Uh, so basically accounts reached that weren't following you already. Right. So how many people saw you through? And honestly, is it, is it, is that extra 1% is because that one got shared a whole, like a ton for this event. Right. The, um, right. Well, I think it reached um, just to, I'm just using this as an example. Um, it says seven, 7,455 accounts reached. Actually, it's 3% weren't following Spencer Tunick. Um, yeah, yeah, but that's the one that you were using as a, I mean, that, that's still kind of on the low end. It's going to grow as a kind of, you know, as it's been up for a bit, but it's, um, okay. it's never going to be over 10%. And it's going to grow because people are going to come in from your other posts and see, and, and see that one. But, but basically what that number means is the percentage of people who saw it who weren't already following you. So most of the people were following you. And then there was another, you know, 3% that probably got it from like, is it don't delete art shares because it just because that post was getting used to kind of like, like share all around. So someone who has a, a you know, a lower amount of, you know, uh, friends or, or following themselves can see if a, a post goes uh, semi-viral as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, like, like, so the, the one that I, um, the, the one that I, that I showed for Grand Central Atelier of the, the girl working in her charcoal, charcoal nude, that was seen by some, like, yeah, almost ninety percent of the, you know, you know, the people that saw that. So it's already a big account, right? Wow. Um, GCA, um, it's it's already at over two hundred thousand people. So those, you know, so people following that account saw up and another 90, but, but like 90% of that, those 70,000 likes uh, came from, you know, you know, came from the explore page or hashtags or just, you know, places that weren't that account. Huh? Can I ask a question? Is sure. it also suppressing stories at uh, all? You know, I, um, um, I actually don't, I, I don't think so. Okay. Um, I, I don't know for sure. But I'm reasonably sure. So the people who are looking at your stories tend to be the people closest to you anyway. And honestly, so, so like y your stories aren't really getting seen by people who aren't following the account anyway, right? Right. So because like, like the posts have the ability to end up on the explore page, but stories don't. Right. I think for a while they were like, you know, popping people. Right. Stories. I do remember that. But, but yeah, I think they, I think they stopped. But, I feel like mine fluctuate. Like sometimes it's. 300 people see it, sometimes 100 people, and then sometimes uh, I can go for an hour without someone even seeing it. So it seems very all over the place. And I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that I did have something deleted, although they posted it back up. I just don't know if that's connected. So stories, I, I don't think it would. Like, 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 so stories are, so there's over, for anyone who wants to know an obscure piece of information, there's over 1,400 factors to determine whether each of your, even without the shadow ban, whether each of your posts gets seen and how many people it gets seen by. And like, you don't actually, you, you guys don't have to keep, tra you know, like, like you guys don't have to keep track of 1400 factors. There's only like three or four of them that actually matter. But stories I, I um, are all the way towards the bottom of that, you know, like they're like 1300. Not priority. Right. Yeah, yeah. So basically just, it's a feature that you can use if you want to use it and you like it and you don't see have it. it's actually might be a good place to put up a full uncensored nude because i don't think i've done that though and they did they they started 
they started censoring stories. Yeah. God, because usually that's the place like when when I when I like for some of these accounts I run, that's where I put the yeah, um, like like that's that's where I put the full on frontal nude. Uh, um, Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, I even I, I I swear there's someone like monitoring my account personally. I don't think it's in a spirit personally have an enemy because um, right now Instagram is actually it's not. It, I think because there's a big fuss over deleting images, I think mm -hmm. it's to quietly suppress your reach too loudly deleting you know de like deleting an image there's a chance for like a commotion kind of like this honestly what spencer's organizing what you guys are all doing this is kind of a commotion because a lot of stuff has been deleted if they just kept quietly suppressing everyone's reach i think people would be a lot less likely to be up in arms about it then yeah okay thank you so much i wasn't sure about the stories um uh, just yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're not gonna, they're not gonna affect the overall reach of your account anyway. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, my dog keeps popping in and out, although she's cute. <laughs> okay, my kid did that, like, like at the beginning of this, <laughs> but, um, and he's only kind of cute. Thank you so much for this huge wealth of information. I'm, you know, it's pretty amazing and blown away that you've been able to kind of unlock some mysteries for us. Um, I, I and, and, and I'll never look at challah bread again in the same way. <laughs> or or a, or a, a tangerine. Uh, I, I have a lot of questions, and I think we'll certainly have another webinar about, especially around appeals and so on. So there, and please, everybody, also check out Don't Delete Art on the resource page there, which will keep enriching. And also, if you have tips. If you have um, censored artwork, submit it to us. We can put it up there. So at least people start to know what the extent of the problem is. So we'll make, uh, we'll make an impact in public opinion. And I think eventually social media companies hear that. So it's really important to show them the kind of you know, ridiculous censorship there exists and how much cannot be seen and how paternalistic social media companies are in blocking our view. Uh, but thank you all for coming and, and thank you Savannah and Spencer and Dina, this was fantastic. And we have recorded this session. We'll send all the registered participants a link and there will be a link also from Don't Delete Art so you can look at that session again and share it and stay tuned for the next webinar. Thank you. Thank you Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being here. We appreciate Thank you. you. Nina. Thank you, Savannah. Uh, thanks, Spencer. Thanks, Svetlana. Thank you, Rebecca. Good luck, everyone. Bye. And don't get deleted. Don't worry. Oh, shadow band. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>